Hi, I'm Amy McCarter. Welcome to House Calls brought to you by CAMCO, where Kansas healthcare professionals deliver health insight. Today I'm speaking with Dr. Vance Lassie of Holton about restless leg syndrome. Thanks for being here today. Good to be back, thanks. What exactly is restless leg syndrome? Restless leg syndrome is a, actually in some cases a relatively dis disabling problem uh, that's characterized by um, the, either the movement or the sensation of need to move the legs. Uh, it, it can happen anytime, uh, day or night, but it's more common at night. And it can just drive, drive folks crazy because they're trying to go to sleep and their legs are either jumping or they get this overwhelming sensation that they have to move their legs. So they'll you know, move them or get up and walk around, things like that. And if it goes away, that's one thing, but if it just keeps doing it, it makes, it makes it so it's really hard to function during the day or really hard to get a good night's sleep. What is it caused by? No one really knows for sure. It's a, it's a, it's a neurologic condition. It's thought to be actually a problem in the brain, not in the feet or in the legs. And how do you know if you might have it? Uh, you just take those symptoms and go discuss them with your doctor because there's other things that can cause your legs to be kind of jumpy at night and your doctor can kind of ask some questions to, to sort those out. Is it at all treatable? Yeah, actually we have several kinds of medication that work for it. Uh, sometimes um, just keeping your brain active during the day has been shown to help. So um, doing puzzles or um, any other kind of sort of mental activity where you're turning your brain on for whatever reason seems to help prevent the restless legs later in the day. Okay, and at what point should you know that you should call your doctor for it? Basically if you're losing sleep because you have to keep getting up to, and walking around to make your legs calm down or if you're losing sleep because you just your legs just keep jumping in bed, uh, that's a conversation you can have with your doctor about what might be something you can do to help. Okay. Good information, thanks for being here. No, thanks for having me. Please join us next week for a new health topic discussion on house calls.